Okay, hey, hey, Jelly Toast here, back with more Dragon Quest XI. I leveled up my characters, I finished my quests that I had to do in Galopolis. Um, funnily enough, I thought it would take me a long time to grind those quests. I found the golden cactus on my second cactus battle, so that was done. And then, yeah, when I fought my second Spitfire, everyone was pepped up at the right time, so I finished that. So it really didn't take me that long after I ended stream last night to um, finish the quests. But I did level up. I did some level grinding, and now I'm level 23. Eric is 23 also, but he's so close to 24. I don't know how he managed to get more experience than I did. When we, I, we started off around the same level, and then like Eric takes less experience points level? I don't know. He levels up faster than me. Bernard got 22. Serena's at 21, Solano's at 22. So yeah, I got everyone above level 20, which was my goal. Um, I did run into the metal slimes, which give 2k experience each. So that was lucky. So yeah, now I'm gonna move along with the story. Beyond the checkpoint lies Laguna di Gondolia. Only those with express permission from His Excellency, the most exalted sultan, may pass. Do you possess evidence that he has granted you such permission? Yes. At the Sultan's letter. Well, now let's see. Yes, this is His Excellency Seal. Ooh, I accidentally skipped all that. Whatever. Continue on, on the road. Yeah. I don't think there was anything super important I had to read. Okay. Laguna di Gondolia. Let's see how many treasures there are here. Five pieces of treasure! Holy crap! Hey, Meme Master, how you doing? Thanks for joining! Hey, Ultimate, how you doing? Thanks for joining! Happy Wednesday, y'all. A handful of glass frits. Die. <laughs> yeah, I don't really have to level now since I'm level above 20, so let's just beat all these guys up. Hey Jay, how you doing? Thanks for joining! Playing without glasses? I have my contacts on today. Because I figure I have them, I should use them. Campsite Laguna de Gondolia. Um, Galapagos region. Okay, so there's a campsite here. Oh! I did find a potato! A red potato. So I got a keyword, so I could always go back to what's his face to um, do another page of the of the book. But I think I'm gonna wait until I get a couple more um, pages or um, passwords before I go back there, just so I get like more areas dug with faster. Excuse me. Oh no, my horse hailer won't work right now. Okay. Oh wait, I didn't fight you guys yet. The music is super loud? It is? I lowered the music volume. What? Um. What the heck? Okay, I'll lower this a bit more. How's that? Is that better? Let you thank you. If you go to information, you can look at which potato are available. It tells you where they are. Yeah. That's better? Okay, good. <gasps> oh, good. No ability inhibiting for me. Wow, they're all not running from me. Who, who didn't uh, go yet? I think the Restless Armor didn't go yet. Oh, another enemy. Nobody shows up. Okay, cool. This is gross. They're all gross. <laughs> uh, no glasses today? Oh, I thought I answered this. I'm wearing contacts. Because I bought a whole bunch of um, disposable contacts. And I should use them up before they go bad. 
365 experience points. What does the sign say? No, stop. Gondoli, proceed through the cave, climb the stairs, and head towards the lighthouse. Oops. A flython appears. Didn't I find one before? Uh, let's try to steal. Ah, oh, Eric, you never steal. Why do I bother? Let's heat things up. Hey, <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Weak sauce. Um, I did get a recipe to create like fur stuff, except I don't have the materials. I don't know where to get the materials. Okay, I can't walk across water, so those areas of land are off limits to me right now. Whoa, a bee! A metal bee. Midnight Hork Night? Midnight Horn Night? That doesn't sound like a good name. <laughs> oh wait, it's Veronica. Alfred's the Splatty Punk. And die. Holy crap, 95 crit damage. Woo! Do -do -do. Eric leveled up. Oh, you're special! Oh no, I want to use my sword! That means I could probably ride around on you and then I could go onto the other areas of land. Okay, let's do this. Dude! Oh my gosh! He can counter? Excuse you. Let's heat things up! You can go to the materialist and menu info. It tells you. Oh, that's so helpful! Okay, I just want to fly around on these areas first before I move on. Okay, doesn't look like there's anything here. Urn of Royal Soil. That doesn't sound too cool. There's a shiny here. Celestial Skine. Skin? Jump. Jump. Can I not climb up this? Do I have to dismount and then climb? Dismount. Okay. Okay, it doesn't look like I can jump up this, so... Get back on the hornet! Did you get any glasses? I can't see them, so they must have blinded me with their coolness. Ha 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 ha! Hey Kirby, how you doing? Thanks for joining! Okay, then did I go around every area? I think I did. Yeah, then I'll continue. You can't continue this way while mounted. Psh, that sucks. Oh, I am turning my camera way too much. Um, I thought there was a shiny here. I'll dismount for now. Um, so, okay, wait. Bees! Hey, Regal, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Uh, materialist in the menu. Oh, wait. Uh, if I go to info, then I could go to passwords. Uh. Oh, there's a... There's a taco here. Okay, Laguna di Gondolia. Um, item list, no. Fun size forge. Armor. Ropes? Not silk rope. Bows. Fur poncho. Okay, this just tell me what it does. Item lists. Materials. Okay. Um, uh, I need the magic beast hide, I think. Ursa Miner and Spitzfire. Oh gosh, are you for real? 
And I need a... Where are you? Fine sense water sedge. Wait, where is it? Okay. Ah! Hi. I've been here but forgot to say hi like a cool guy. Ha ha ha, hello. Thanks for joining. Yeah, I turned the camera way too much. I'm starting to get dizzy. Which is not good since I just started. No one dance. Oh my gosh. I'm starting to boogie. No, she didn't kill him. Calls for backup. A heal slime. Hello. Don't heal. You know what? I'll just bang all of you. Bang! Haha, <laughs> they're all killed. Did I, I hate it when I'm right? trying to kill a monster, but they feel like dancing. <laughs> oh wait, I think I just got the hide. Or whatever fur I need for my um, armor. Okay, I'll fight the splatterpunks again. Let's go! <laughs> Is everyone ready for Christmas? It's in like two days. I'll just bang all of you spits out water. <gasps> huh. But bang is a light spell, I think. I don't know what it is. It made them explode. Wait, can I fun size forge? Posture check. Check. Oops, not weapons. Um, armor, clothes, fur poncho. Nope, I still need a magic piece. That's so it was armor. No, hat, fur hood, magic beast hide, and fine fur. Yeah, I really need to raise um, uh, Veronica's uh, defense. Okay, so I need to fight big bears or spit spires for the magic beast hide. Well, that's gonna suck. Double whammy? No, double edge bash. Uh, let's try one more. Woohoo! Ooh, that just barely hit it. Whoops. Ooh, okay. And then, um, how about a lightning bash? Nope, just right. No. Just keep with the lightning. I think I could do one more. Damn it! Finish. Also, Forge can just search the material with triangle to highlight the material to auto search where it is. Also, if you don't have it while forging, can auto buy the items of any arts. Oh, cool! That's handy. I got a perfect? I only got two yellows though. Whoa. Nice. I mean, not complaining. That's awesome. Okay, so now let us equip Veronica with the... Man, I just gave her bunny ears, too. Magical Might goes down by five, though. Magical Mending... She doesn't need Magical Mending, and Charm goes down by a lot. But you need the physical defense, because you a tiny baby. You need all the physical defense you can get. Rem, thanks so much for the follow! <gasps> Potato! Time waits for no man, but we have a plan. It may require a caravan. Tickety tock tock. Tickety tick tock. Why, if it isn't the luminary, I was just indulging in a spot of singing. Helps lift the spirits, don't you know? Allow me to pass on the password I found. The taco tells Jelly Toast the password it's found. Nice VA, thank you. He can now visit the observatory via the altar of the starry skies. Tickety tick! You can use that password I gave you to visit another world from the echo chamber in Tickington. There are more tacos out there while whiling away the hours searching for passwords. You know, be sure to take a moment to talk to them if you come, Carsoni. And with that, I'm clocking off and trundling back to Ticklington. Tickington. It was lovely meeting you, and good luck with the rest of your adventure. Tick tock. And now I shall mind yours. You must mine for more minerals. Cow! What's the weather? Ooh, let's see what kind of weather we can look forward to. Ooh. Look 
looks like it'll start raining here at dawn tomorrow. Watch your stuff. It could get slippery under hoof. Oh no! That means I gotta get out of here before all the poison dudes come. Okay. There really isn't any other path, so I should just go this way. And with that, I got the tuckle in here. Oh, a tiger! Ticklington. <laughs> hey, Zach, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Let's keep at it. I guess I'm very late to the stream. No, I just started. Um, I'm on my way to... Whoa, what? Is he just a dude wearing a tiger costume? Wear tiger. Ha ha ha, because he's wearing a tiger. Ha 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 ha. Bang, all of you. Whoa, she took out a muddy hand. Nice. Proud of you. Drop some fur. Drop a fur. Huh. Easy. Kitty litter. Oh, gross. That's disgusting. Drop some fur. Doing well. How are you enjoying the game so far? I'm liking the game a lot so far. It's very, like, um... It feels fresh, but charming. And, like, getting used to their battle system and world stuff is interesting also. Not bad. Because, like, magic, physical attacks, yeah, like, it's all there, same with any game, but, like, being able to switch equipment during easy, battle, easy. um, growing their- oops! Growing their skill trees, it's really interesting. The concept of saving at churches and healing stuff at statues. I'm enjoying this. Um, bang. Have some kitty litter, no thank you. Why would I need kitty litter? What would you need to craft with kitty litter? Gross. You missed the splatty punk. Nice. But I shall kill him. So right now I have Serena equipped with bunny ears and fishnet stockings. So I'm wondering, like, because um you need a full set before you can dress them up in that costume, I'm wondering what the last piece of armor is that I need to get for her before she dresses up in whatever so that I can see the fishnet stockings. Does that make sense? I'm kind of tired. Work isn't done yet. <laughs> wow, Veronica became very fast. Usually it was Eric who always went first whenever I got into battles. Now Veronica's going first. Um, splatty punk. Because the Midnight Horror Knight just went. Oh! It's Horror Knight because of Hornets! Veronica wins again! Oh, I was like, is it Horror Knight because it's like a whore? Oh, if he's glowing, that means I should attack him because there's treasure. We got a way to find out. <laughs> I thought this was a PG stream. It is! It just took me a while to connect Hornet and Hornite. Yeah, kill him, Veronica. Easy. I played this game twice and I still don't know what kitty litter is used for. Then why am I getting it? <laughs> what is the purpose? A treasure chest and give me all of the perfection Give me all the shiny spots and fairy fluff. I think that was all the places I can go with the horror night. Die! stream buffering for anyone else? Oh no! Is my stream health not good? I'm not getting any notifications. For a quest maybe? Ah, oh, okay. If it's for a quest, then that's understandable. It's okay for me, same time for me. Yeah, please let me know if it's slow. I don't want it to be buffering or anything. I mean, I think my internet speed is okay today. Mm -hmm. 
Medicinal herb! Yay! Uh, now I want to explore the path I didn't take, just in case. There's a treasure chest! Heck yeah! A mini metal! Yay! Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to look on all the other platforms to see if there's a treasure chest. I just kind of zoomed by. Hello. Went ahead and refreshed. Did it work? Is it all fine for you now? Is this your first Dragon Quest game in general? Yes. My very, very first ever in my life. I picked it up because I saw another streamer play it. Um, I don't know what part of the story he was up to, but uh, he was playing in 2D mode with the orchestral score, and I was like, wow, this is beautiful. And I wanted to pick it up. Okay, the little use for one item to craft. Wow. I think I already have like two kitty litter. Medicinal herb, yay. Okay. Is that a patch of grass I could go on? Ooh. Jump. Uh, I don't see any treasure chest or anything. But just in case, I'll go to the bottom floor and fly over to it. And nothing. A waste of time. Oh wait, but then... Did I come here? Gotta explore every nook and cranny. Aha! Jump! Jump! Get on this land! Get on the land! Oh, is that at the end? Oh, I loop around here anyway. Okay, never mind. Oh, or I'm just here. Cool. Recipe book entitled I Love Iron Armor. How to make iron helmets, iron cuirasses, and suits of iron armor. Cool. Oops. Okay, let's see if he can steal now. Damn it! I raised your deftness! Can you steal? Ugh. Drop a hide, drop a hide. Damn it, didn't drop anything. Okay. Mm. Alright, now I can just go up. And it'll be Gondolia. Oh, whoa! I totally did not see him. You should give Dragon Quest A to try to. If not, you can still enjoy the soundtrack in this game. If the PS4 definitive version, you can change the audio. Yep, I have the definitive edition. Um, I was thinking about trying it out with Dragon Quest 8 audio, but since this is my very first Dragon Quest, I want to um, I want to experience this with Dragon Quest 11 music. And if I ever do another playthrough, then I'll do Dragon Quest 8. Yay, Eric, kill two of them. Wonder if Veronica could get hit. Did I miss this? Why is she so hurt? Eric's steal rate not great till later in game, so you can crack gear that ups the steal rate. Boo! Yeah, I'm going to Gondolia. So I want to go into here, so dismount. Lurking about- okay! When do I get Jade and the last dude? I hope I get them here. But I probably won't get them here. Maybe after I cross the ocean or whatever. Because I just got Silvando. Yellow, how are we feeling? Hey, Smooth, how you doing? Thanks for joining! I'm actually feeling kind of sleepy. It might be because I have contacts in, so my eyes feel dry. Jade is after this area. Shucks! Oh my gosh, I love that. Probably the next three hours of gameplay. Ah, Jade, come to me. Hmm. 
Henry, what a beautiful place. It feels as though the whole town is bobbing up and down on the waves. Oh, no, that's terrible. I get seasick. So this is Gondolia, huh? I heard there was some big scores She's wearing to be invisible had. glasses. <laughs> Rich merchants from all over the world, ships full of treasure, you name it. And this is where you're keeping your ship, Sylvando. The ship that you own. It's not going to be a big ship. I bet it's going to be like a little dinghy. Oh, come now, Ronnie, darling. You know it's not polite to pry. All right. The docks are in the southwest of the town. Last one there is a rotten egg. No, I must do a side quest first. I have to deliver a letter. Whoa. It's Tan Vegeta. Oh my goodness, Kirby, how did you make that that fast? Like a rowboat? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like a tiny dinghy. Once you get to see, it becomes random encounters. Crap. Benvenuti a Gondolia. Welcome to our town. Here you can buy the famous products from all over the whole world. Hmm? You want to visit the dock? It is in the west part of the city. Maybe it is better to check a map, no? You were pink, so I wanted to check out what you were, man. Calm down. Okay. Allora! Okay, so Gondolia is like Italy. Rapier, broader sword, poison moth, knife. Don't I have that? Yeah. Posy pole. Ooh, posy pole. It really ups her. Oh, no, that's only two points. Uh, I want to give her the posy pole, man. That's awesome. Yes. Right now, it'll be an equipment bag. That's it. And now let's equip Serena with offensive. What? Iron Lance is better than Posey Pole? Oh, uh, what? Oh, you lied to me. Physical attack goes down by 12 points, but magical mending while she's wielding it and magical might goes up by. Mm, Oh, the posy pole is a wand. I thought it was a freaking. You tricked me. Okay. Well then, here's what we'll do. We will switch out Serena's wand for uh for posy pole. Transfer to Serena. Yes. Okay. Okay, where's the armor? Right here. Tricky toast. They tricked me! Ooh, okay, gold platter. Raises it by four. Iron shield. Ooh, raises it by seven. We all got turbans, bunny ears, cat hat! Iron helmet, but I should be able to forge that now. Iron armor, I should be able to forge that. I can forge this. Leather cape, leather dress. Um, eh, let's save my money on that. Um, okay, I need to go to the bakery, which I think is the top left. I don't want to go to the docks quite yet. There's no one else that needs side quests doing here, so. Oh wait, I should go into every single building to see if they have books, though. This is an item store. Oh, you're locked. The door is locked tight. But I thought the um, bakery was here. Anything that has a pink star next to it is part of a costume. Not sure if you knew that. Yep, I know that. Except I didn't want to get the cat hat until I could get um the rest of the body. Or should I just get it now? Utility belts boosts deftness. Strong medicine. Blah, 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 blah. Hmm. Paralysis. I got enough. Got enough. Got enough. Okay, you know I won't buy anything. Uh, poofy toast. Oh yeah, my hair is very poofy. There's two vendors selling the same item. Can talk to them to lower the price of it. Oh, that's good to know. Give me your books. 
Give me your treasures. Give me your barrels. Yeah, 24 gold coins. I'm rich. So the other place, the door was locked, but what if I go in this way? Haha! -ha! Ooh, hello. Who are you guys? Paintings of my master. Once they sell like hotcakes. But now, niente. Nothing. Perhaps career is finito. You're not the bakery. Hi. Well, you guys don't see like- <gasps> Book! There's a book called The Diary of Tetsu Tetsu's Jealousy of Close a look, part two, a dream is chased. My name is Tetsuya, I'm 48 years old, I'm a blacksmith. In Galdolia, a clued metal source, former strapping man. And far beyond the sea, a school of metal homes lies in the valley. He says that this place teaches the metal secrets I must learn to do. I return to school, friend perhaps at my age, but this is my dream. Do not fear, mother, I will become a great smith and return home soon. Oh, it's the guy from Hotto. Um, Miss Quest Catalog, uh, lovely letter. Who works at a bakery in Gondolia? Am I just gonna have to go into every single building to find the bakery? I'm pretty sure he said it was top left. Mm. I don't think there's anything to see in the church. Um, that's the item shop and an inn. Oh wait, what's up here? By talking to one that offers a price, does the other one to offer cheaper rinse and repeat to lowest price? Ooh, -hoo. thrifty buyers. Hi, are you a sister? You hear about the tentacular who caused so much havoc around the harbor? See. See? Ah, naturalmente, you are the traveler. Of course you know of the dangerous creatures of the sea. And recently, they become more dangerous, no? Molto pericoloso. I never took Italian. There's a book called Viva Signor Universo. I take it from Tadel. As proud of citizens of the city of Gondolia, we must show the world the most wonderful example of our soul set as possible. And for our inspiration, we look to none other than a sea which is ramless. We must be strong as the waves that buffet the ships in a storm, and gentle as the breeze which fills the sails. And what better way could there be to show the best of what our Gondolian men have to offer than a massive, fiery, feisty, and fabulous Signor Universal contest? So I say to all you salty, sweaty, strong young men, aim to the top. Be the best that you can be, and make Gondolia proud. Do Doge, Doge, Rotondo, first ever Signor Universal winner. Oh my gosh, am I gonna have to participate in this Senior Universo Mr. Universe competition? Because I would love that. Except I am not a strong, buff, steamy man. I am of a quite light build. The door won't budge. It seems like it's locked from the inside. Where is the bakery? Are you his sister? My husband, he is a sailor. He traveled all over Eredrea, so he often told me about what happened in faraway kingdoms. Yesterday, he told me about a prisoner who escaped from Heliodor. He says Sir Hendrik is looking for him. This prisoner, he must be very dangerous. Molto pericoloso! Speak of the devil, I am he. Oh wait, there's pot. Flax and thread, thank you. It should be above the item shop, tech the other door. Okay, thank you. Hey, Kenny, how you doing? Thanks for joining! Hope you're doing well, dude. Don't make me turn the camera around so much. I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> okay, so above the item shop. Above the item shop. Wait, is there a downstairs? Oh, no, I missed the middle floor. Or something in here. <laughs> <gasps> Mini metal! I thought it was gonna be like boxers again. No bookshelf? Bookshelf? No bookshelf. Wow, you just expect people to sleep in this room that doesn't have fully closed walls? That's interesting. Okay. Uh, item shop. Oh, the door's locked! Uh, hi, I'm good. Are you loving this game? I am loving this game. None of us are, unfortunately. What? 
None of us are what? Dizzy? Tired? What? Um, yeah. I checked above the item shop, but the door is locked, and when I went in through the other way, it was just the painter dudes. So... I don't think I could deliver the letter right now. Or, no, wait, the, the door behind the item shop. Hi. Eh, Akia, a letter. Oh, I got it. It was the door behind. Mm. Uh, thanks for the hint, Rem. I think the lady quest next to the block door next to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, buff hunky guys. Yeah, sadly, none of us are buff. Sadness. A letter from my brother. No, no, no. My name is No Akia, and I have no brother. You talked to the wrong person, senor. See, si, Akia worked here before, but then she finished. Finito. It's a shame. She is a talented baker, but she said to me she'd find a better job. I think now she worked for Dog Rotondo as a maid. Alora, I see her today, just near the house of the Doge. She seemed to be molto, molto busy. If you meet with her, say ciao from me. Okay, so she doesn't work here. I need to find the house of the Doge. Doge? But where does he live? Mm. Let's try going up. Look at this beautiful scenery. I'm on top of the world. No! I want to zoom out! Damn it! Okay, then I'll have to take the picture from further away. Uh, let's reposition. Where's reposition? Okay, and then... Thumbs up! Yes! <laughs> Save this photo. Other side? Wait, who's this? Hi. <coughs> Salute, I am Luciano. I am the singer, but my throat is no so good today. But I hear about this bird song that they say is the best for soothing the sore throat. Well, you're not a side quest, so no thank you. Barrel. Nope. Next to the lock gate door, the gray lock on the map. Oh! I did not notice that lock. Okay. I didn't even notice that lock, so thanks for pointing it out, guys. Whoa. You okay? No. Do not come near. You will destroy me. You will destroy us all. Be gone with you. Okay. If that's what you want, sir. Hmm? You were looking for a young lady named Akia? Well, my name is Akia. Do you think I might be the one you were looking for? Yes. I hand over a Hakim's letter. Oh, is this a letter from Hakim? A thousand thank yous. I shall read it right away. Let me see. My dearest Akia, are you well? I hope that your apprenticeship at the bakery is not proving to be too draining. I am certain that you will do well there. After all, you have always been such a hard worker ever since you were a little girl. Now that the misery of our old life is a thing of the past, I pray that you are enjoying your freedom. I cannot wait to see you blossom into a fully-fledged baker. I have enclosed a few for gold coins. Hopefully they will make life a little easier for you. I very much hope to see you one day soon, and to taste one of your delicious cakes. With all my love, Hakim. Oh, poor Hakim. How many must scrimp and save in order to send me money? I must write to my own letter in response. Wait a moment, please. It will not take long. Are you expecting me to deliver it? I realize that this is quite the imposition, but would you mind returning to the western checkpoint and delivering this to Hakim? I would mind, actually. I don't want to go back right now. Also, I would very much appreciate if you did not tell my brother that I no longer work at the bakery. That is something I would like to tell him myself when the time is right. A thousand thank yous for your kind assistance, friend. May the sun smile upon you always. When you have time, you should go and deliver Aki's letter to her brother Hakim at the checkpoint west of Galapolis. I mean, I know I can just zip-zap-zop because I have zoom. 
Should I do it? Yeah, let's zip zap zap. Um, menu. Uh, map. Oops, map. Zoom out. Map menu. Zoom. Galapagos. South of Galapagos. Should tell her to get a phone or carry a pigeon. For real, right? Don't they have a mail service in this world? <laughs> but they're expecting me to do it? <laughs> Thanks, guys. Horse! Uh, wait, it's this way. Right? Yeah. Hello, dudes. Pow! <laughs> Whoa, pow! Okay, Hakim. Oh, you have returned. Did you see my sister? How is she? Is she well? Give Akia's letter to him? Yes. Oh, is this. It is! A letter from my dearest Akia. A thousand thank yous for bringing it to me. I cannot wait to see what it says. Dear Hakim, I received your letter. Thank you. Thank you also for the money. I know it cannot be easy for you to have to support us both. If it were not for your assistance, I would be unable to follow my dream of becoming a baker. I'm learning so much here. Only the other day, my master mentioned how much I improved. Wise. I will continue to work hard, Hakim. I want you to be proud of me. With all my love, Akia. <laughs> Dear little Akia, she sounds as though she is doing well and working hard. In truth, life has not been easy for her. Our father did not treat us well. He was once a kind and gentle man, but then he suffered a terrible injury which made him horribly bitter. Aki and I would often bear the brunt of his frustration. It was not a pleasant environment in which we had to grow up, which is why I want to ensure she can enjoy her life now that she is free of it. Her letter has brought me great relief. I am indebted to you for delivering it to me. Please accept this by way of thanks. Cutting edge kit! Oh, nice! Good thing I delivered it now. I want more recipes. I learned how to make broader swords, battle forks, and rose whips. Cool, cool. Do, 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 do. Uh, rude. Happy Xmas Eve Eve! Hey, Golden! Happy Xmas Eve Eve to you, too! Hey! Hey, Nanaja! How you doing? Thanks for joining! Hope you've been well! Think her brother would have understood even if she had been honest. It's not like she's slacking off. Yeah, right? It's like, why, why are you hiding this from him? You're just being more dishonest. It's not nice. Zoom to Gondolia. I can zoom to Tickington. Oh, I want to get at least like five passwords before I go back to Tickington, though. Remind me to never hang around Toast while she rides a horse. I really want to go horseback riding again, though. If you speak to Aki again, she'll give you another quest. <gasps> Thanks for that. <laughs> Oh yeah, I should try to forge stuff. I'll do that later though. Akia! Come back to me. Yep, she's purple now. Oh, it is you, the one who delivered Hakim's letter. Your timing could not be better. I find myself in need of your assistance once more. Could you deliver another letter for me, please? This time it's going to Puerto Valor, to a gentleman who lives there by the name of Val Valentino. Uh, sure. A thousand thank yous. Here is the letter. Ooh, what does it say? Does it say I love you? Marry me? In order to travel to Puerto Valor, you must sail to the northwest. Valentino will not be difficult to find when you arrive there, I am sure. Please be aware that my letter tells Valentino everything, including the fact that I abandoned my career as a baker to come and work here. As such, it would be a disaster for me if it fell into the wrong hands. You must take great care of it and ensure that it reaches its destination safely. An even lovelier letter? Ho oh. ho. Well, I'm pretty sure I'll reach Valentino when I ride my boat, so now I will go to the docks. Oh yeah, I should save, actually. Uh, just never be on the road while she's on a horse. <laughs> I just finished uh, finding all the passwords early myself. Apparently I missed five. Ooh. Carrier pigeons, I tell you, they should start investing in them. 
Yeah, carrier pigeons, messenger hawks, come on guys, get with the times. Wait, there isn't a, a TikTok, a TikTokington Takaru here, right? Yep, no. <gasps> a red book! Ah! Ooh, filigree for fun and profit. Make gold platters, gold chains, gold bracers. Aw, oh, but I used my iron ore to make a gold ring for Serena. Gosh darn. Okay, so docks are this way. What? No, docks are this way? Docks? Okay. Huh? I have to go to the docks. Oh, okay, I have to go down this way. Bookshelf and church. Yes, <laughs> got it. Can you believe it? So, Vando, he's it's a really me, funny character. Me, he me, is. I want to know what his deal is, though. How are you doing tonight? I'm good. I'm feeling pretty tired, and I'm getting kind of dizzy since I turned the camera around a lot. But I want to stream for a little longer before I give up. Goldie Twist. There is one, but you can't get to it yet. Boo! It's nothing personal. The docks are off limits for everybody. In <gasps> no, what? Why did it so skip? I guess we just have to sit tight because of the competition. Huh? See, is the only choice. I am sorry, but Senor Universo is molto, molto importante event for people of Gondolia. I want to compete. Senor no. Universo, you say? Now that sounds like fun. Tell me more, honey. I'm all ears. Honey. Naturalmente. Senor Universo is for men of all ages. The winner, he must be a powerful like the waves. Graceful oh my gosh, like is this breeze, going to be like the Man and Festival like in Shadowheart's sea. Covenant? Because I freaking love the Man Festival. La competizione is the reason why Gondolia is so filled with the strong and admirable men in this moment. Ooh, I love a little pageantry. Come on, darlings, let's go see what it's all about. We can sample some local delicacies to get ourselves in the mood. I hear they're to die for. Man Festival. Oh, look up Shadow Hearts Covenant well, Man Festival who's with me? on Come YouTube. On. See if you, you can find you any videos. To. It is amazing. I'm not that bothered about whatever silly contest they're having. But I am quite peckish. I'd love to try a few local treats. Seriously? We're not here on holiday, you know. We're supposed to be looking for the rainbow. Right, Serena? Yeah, your words thrown back at you. How you like that? Mm. Wait, she's Veronica. She's Serena. Well, um... <laughs> oh, Eric. I'm so sorry. But I'm really rather hungry myself, and well, we can't love her reaction here. Yeah, over anyway. So, <laughs> I don't believe this. Also, it's Silvando's boat. If he's going off, like it's not like we could leave hey, without listen, him. We're kind of in a hurry here, and we really need to get to the dock. Do you know who's in charge of this contest? Naturalmente, the person in the charge is Dojo Rotondo. Doja. He is in okay, the charge of everything in our town. His villa is in the northeast part of Gondolia. You must speak with him. Dojo he is so Rotondo. much a kind man. Molto gentile. Molto bene. Let's go ask this Doge guy to let us into the docks. Si, va bene. Bongole! I'm just saying all the Italian words I know now. Venti! Grande! Fortissimo! Pianissimo! Jump! Jump off! Whoa, 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 whoa? Still trips me up whenever they do that! 
I'm like, whoa, I didn't touch anything. Hi. In this moment, I tried to think of the food to make little Placido feel better. Dojo Rotondo, he worries so much about his boy, but he never tells me what food he likes. Hmm. Hmm? Where is the house of Dojo? It is easy to find. It's direct in front of you after you cross over the bridge. I thought you had something important to tell me. That's why. You know what? It's not worth talking to pink people. Oh, but it's locked. How do I get in? Yo, Akia, let me in. Or is it... what? This must be the oh, place. Oh, it's this house, whoops. <laughs> Let's see if he's home. Doge guy. The doge. <laughs> Such wow. Oh, no minuto. I am coming. Uh, hey, we're looking for the doge. <laughs> we need to ask him a favor. Bene, I am doge rotondo. Doge. Always I am happy to help. Help a strong boy. I have nothing to say to you. Niente. Now you must go and date via. What? What did I do? <gasps> what the? Hey, wait! Hmm? So much for Malto Gentile. I've met kinder judges. He took one look at you and freaked out, huh? Wait, you don't think... Nah, how would he know you were on the run? And why just you? Yeah, why just me? What did oh. I do? Oh, there you are. Veronica's managed to get herself into a bit of a scrape. The Please, doge you has to come <laughs> Nothing to say to you. You Niente. can't take that kid anywhere. Still, I guess we won't be sailing out of here anytime soon. Might as well go see what's up. Give it back, you dirty Oh, is thief. that his? It's not like you can use Wait, it anyway. I'm sorry. Did he just like steal her the wand? Best idea what to do with a wand. Why no? You are the kid, just like me. Anyway, I only borrow, no steal. That is stealing if she didn't give you permission to take it, <gasps> kid. What's going on here, Serena? We were just walking along when he came out of nowhere and snatched her wand. We caught up with him That's here. That's stealing. But he give it back. You brat. <laughs> <sighs> what up? What hey, do you want, Vegeta? Don't let it get back off so easily next time. But why did you even want my wand in the first place? It's not worth much money, you know. I, uh... He wants to do magic. Hmm? What is it, kid? Spit it out. What happened? What? He's okay, Placido. I explained the situation. Okay, so Placido, that's the Doge's son. My name is Benigno. Son. He is my friend, Placido. He's the only son of the Doge Rotondo. Okay. Every day we are playing together. Molto felice. Happy, happy. But then Placido, he loses his voice. I don't understand what happened. I ask, but he cannot answer. It's the Little Mermaid. He got his voice so stolen. I think if I have the magic, maybe I can fix Placido's voice. Capisce? Capisce. Hmm. Fine. You're forgiven. Now, tell me more about it's your friend's lost voice. That. Oh, wait. Where's my water? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Borrowing without it's asking strange. completely different. Mm -hmm. There's some sort of awful... Oh, he's been cursed. Poor thing. I might be able to help him if I had some birdsong nectar. But I hey, don't I have some? Sacred I'm pretty sure I picked up some well. kind of nectar. You needed the special, very, very holy water to help Placido. See? 
I hear people talking about something like this. The river, west of Gondolia. If you follow it up, there is a cave. The Grotta della Fonte. Everybody say its water is molto speciale. Where's Silvando? I know I steal the wand. And I know this is very bad. But per favore, you must help Placido. We are friends since of we course are small it is. children. So convenient. <laughs> Bambini piccoli. Bambini piccoli. And now you are his only hope. You will help him, see? See? No. <laughs> Grazie mille, signore. No quiero. You bring the water Ayuda. from the grotta and make the special nectar. And I will stay to take care of Placido. You do all the hard work and I will stay here. Ah, <laughs> uh, such is the life of a hero. At the beck and call of everyone. Anyways, let's go. Get the water. Am I... Do I really not have any... Uh, magic water... Um, Yggdrasil leaf, holy waters, pep pop, kitty litter, yellow eye, narcissus. Okay, I guess I don't have any, um, whatever water she see she needed. Okay. Then let's go. Go. The way they lay the map out in this game, too, is also very convenient because it's like, you can't really get lost and you know where exactly you have to go. It's like, okay, this is gonna be the town, this is gonna be the dungeon. It's like, not that complicated, but it still gives you freedom to explore. I like this. And up. <laughs> that door always looks so small. I know, right? It's like, can I really fit into here? Um, okay, so I'm going west. I'm not gonna waste my time fighting fools like you. Are there any islands I have to go to? No, everywhere I can walk, so I don't need to fight you. I don't need to ride your corpse. Ooh, bats! Ooh, frogs! I haven't fought those yet. Okay. For people who played this game, is there an achievement for fighting at least one of every enemy or like filling up a monster encyclopedia? Because that's the only reason why I'm fighting them. If there isn't, I'm not gonna bother to fight them. Yo, we pepped! <laughs> Dead. Bats! Come here! Come here, bat! Oh, what a jerk. He ran away. Coward. A shiny spot. Oh, that's why I want to ride the hornet. It's because over there there's a shiny. Gosh darn. Okay, come here, hornet. Kill the bat. A suck you bat. Ooh. -hoo. <laughs> okay. Veronica wins again. Wasn't tough at all. Oops. Uh, which way's up? Which way's down? I don't know. Boxer man. Come hither, hornet or knight. Decelerate. Excuse you. Uh, let's just bang all of you. Ah! Oh, 
Ouch. He hurt me so much. Um, he's back. Darkness, 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 darkness. <laughs> Darkness, again. nobody's <laughs> unheartless light friendship. <laughs> darkness is darkness, and light is darkness. <laughs> Ooh, cold ore! Yay! But now I need more. Oh, how do I get up? How do I get up? Here we go. Um. Uh, Did I go up there? Did it come from up there? Well, nope. Ah! Ah, no, get out! Oh, frack. I just flung too far. Jump. Thank you. Ah, 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 jump. Okay. Is there anything here? Yes, a shiny. Moonwort bulb. Jump! Yeah! Sprig of wave weed. Ooh. Sounds fancy. Anything up here? No? Then I go down here. Get it! Urn of royal soil. Again, that sounds gross because it sounds like it's someone got buried or something. Ah! Ooh. You get an accolade for beating at least one of every monster in the game. Okay, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Thank you for answering that question. I actually looked up a video of a darkness counter. I got over 200 times of the video is only a third done. <laughs> Man, A plus writing in Kingdom Hearts right there. I'm sorry, but whenever Veronica peps up, it's very funny. Because it's like... I'm trying to be like, I'm trying to power up. <laughs> it just sounds awkward. <laughs> or like, <laughs> Serena actually sounds awkward too when she's trying to pep up. Next, I need you to look up a for real counter in Persona 5. Oh my gosh, is that a thing? Sounds like you're on a roller coaster, but that's what she sounds like when she peps up. Even Serena, she sounds like. <laughs> it's like, what? Did you never do a Super Saiyan power up before? <laughs> do you just say for real a lot? Um... I didn't notice because I played Persona 5 with Japanese voices. Replay Persona 5 and take a shot every time Ryuji or anyone, especially Ryuji, says for real. You'll be drunk in minutes. <laughs> but I don't drink! Don't run into me, you please, little dudes. Okay. Oh, okay, so I have to dismount you to be able to- DISMOUNT! To be able to climb up here. I want to see what's up here. I don't drink either, but that doesn't stop me from taking shots of Gatorade. Mmm, Gatorade. Oh man, I want some orange Gatorade. That's my favorite flavor. I don't like yellow, and I don't like red Gatorade either. Bad memories. Or bad experiences, rather. Ooh, slender sword of solid silver. Silver rapiers, cool. Now, where's my hornet? I probably don't need to ride my hornet anymore, so jump! <gasps> Little potato! Oh, but it wasn't a colored one, so you're not special. <gasps> And then I probably have to go this way. There's 740 monsters in this game, and I've only beat 570. <gasps> but you said you beat the game twice, and you only fought five. So oh, goodness gracious! Then I will never get it done. 
I actually have an orange Gatorade with me right here. Purple's my favorite. Oh, orange Gatorade. I wish I was a fly on the wall during recording session of a lot of games. Oh man, being in recording sessions is a lot of fun. I used to work with voiceover actors when I was at my old company. I actually saw Travis Willingham! Uh, but I didn't get to talk to him because I was like, Oh, uh, he's here for work. I don't want to bother him. Laura Bailey came by too and I was like, Arr! Hi, I don't think I fought you. Uh, did you guys play Persona 5 or Persona 5 Royal? I played Persona 5 long ago and then recently, last year, was it this year Persona 5 Royal came out? But yeah, I recently finished playing that. Uh, I actually like the red and yellow Gatorades, I don't like the blue, oof. It's not that red and yellow are bad flavors, but, um, yeah, I just... I'm so sick of the yellow Gatorades because I had to chug like three bottles in a day for for a health checkup and uh, I don't want to do it again. Um, okay, so campsite to the left, but exploring to the right. La Fonte Fonda to collect some birdsong nectar. So maybe I should go towards the campsite first so that I can at least have a save point. So that is what I shall do. Speaking of jobs, you've been at your current job for a few months now, haven't you? Um... <laughs> I've been at my current job with my current company for like uh, Excellent. three months now. So yeah, it's been a bit... I'd probably break down in fanboy if I ever met Laura Bailey. Oh my gosh, I only saw her from afar because I was busy in a meeting and then I heard her come in and I was like, it's Laura Bailey! But I didn't get to talk to her because before my meeting ended, like, she finished recording and she went. And I was like, no! <laughs> um, I bear the original version that I played the definitive edition on Switch and beat that this year. You like the addition to Royal? Um... I love how they upgraded the the quality of life, like in terms of like going through the dungeon and um, adding new stuff to help improve social links. And ooh, hi! What are you guys? In terms of story, though, it felt uh, repetitive. I mean, like, Kasumi is cute, but, um, I don't know, I feel like they didn't really use her as well as they could have in the royal stuff. And I'm just like, wow, I, we, we really don't need this. Which was kind of disappointing, but, like, for everything else that royal upgraded and included, I really like. Was it worth, like, all the money when you first bought it the day it com came out? Probably not. Did I still enjoy it? Yes. But, yeah, if you could buy Royal now when it's discounted, I would say go for it. Is, it, is Royal discounted now? A pixie pole! Okay, before I go all the way around, I'll just go back up here. I can't! So I have to go this way. <laughs> Jump scares exist here. Yeah, freaking. They get me a lot! Oh, hey, a mushroom! It's Laura Bailey! Yeah, I freaked out. Uh, you gonna play Persona 5 Striker when it comes out? Heck yes, I am! It'll be my birthday game. Well, birthday month game. Bad! 
best girl for me anyways my photo close second my photo is still number one in my heart Monica wins again she's the best girl it was dumb that they didn't let her join during Shiro's palace I think yeah it's just like you're gonna introduce her into the game like that but then not really use her and then you only get to really use her in the end it's just like uh... And like when she first came out, she was so cute and I was like so excited to spend time with her and play with her on my part. Oh my fracking you losers. But then you're like, yeah, we barely used her. She was barely with us and okay. Campsite. Uh, we don't really need a campsite, but let's just do it so I have a place to um I have a place to zoom back to. Ooh, let's see if I can forge items, actually. I pre-ordered P5 Strikers last week. Wait! You can pre-order it? Oh, I didn't know you could pre-order it. I should pre-order it. Happy birthday two months early. You I can't... <gasps> My birthday is two months away. It's December. Oh my gosh. Dang. Apparently it's because they didn't want to remake the animated boat scene and have people wonder why she's not there. Levanzo. Mm. Funny story, in OGP5 I always dated Makoto every playthrough, then in Royal at the very start when Sumire came to fight Joker in the casino, I said, I'm sorry, Makoto who? <laughs> Since last week? Oh damn, I should pre-order it. Thanks for letting me know, guys. My birthday is less than three months away, March 1st. Mine's February 12th. Her birthdays are coming up. We getting old! <laughs> I don't have silver ore. I could make a gold platter, gold chain. Mm, no, it's not really gonna help anyone by a lot. Gold bracer. Prove the defense. Broader sword. Oh damn! Oh, but I don't have a pitch pearl. Battle fork. Oh heck yeah! I'm gonna make a battle fork. Yes. Uh, I romance Sumida too when Royal came out and then literally after it, I was over her. Um, when I played Royal, I was like, I'm gonna play how I would normally act in real life and I don't believe in cheating on people. So I only went out with one girl and I don't think I- Wait, no! Yeah, so I did romance, um, Kasumi. And it was disappointing because you barely got to go out on any dates with her. Uh, I'll do lightning now. Damn it. Nice. And then double bash up here. And then lightning bash here. Nice. Bash here. And a lightning bash here. Damn it. Oh well. I shall be 27 this March. I still feel like I'm 19. <laughs> You're only 27? I'll be 34. <laughs> I'll be 34, but I feel like I'm I'm 27. <laughs> I completed Thieves then. I need to complete the Thieves then. I actually need to Platinum Persona 5 Royal, so I need to definitely do a second playthrough, except when I do the second playthrough, I'm gonna romance everyone. And then I gotta do a third playthrough where I friend zone everyone. I love that P5 calls you out on dating multiple females at once. Mm-hmm. It's hilarious. Ooh. I'm gonna... Man, it hurt me so much to friend zone Makoto, though. Ooh, I made a perfect one. Nice. Forge, recently learned recipes. Rose Whip. Heck yes, we're making this for Silvando. 92% to getting Platinum Royal. The bromance was there. Oh, I want to see the bromance! Uh, let's do that. Okay, flourishes, double edge bash. Flourishes, double edge bash. Flourishes, double edge bash. Oh, frack! Damn it. Too much. Lightning bash. Lightning. Damn it! Damn it! 
Oh, I can't. I don't have enough focus. Okay, well, I guess that's it. Damn it, I messed up. Mm. I got the platinum trophy for it at the most hilarious time. It was when Joker passed out in the bathhouse and that was the screenshot they took from my <laughs> That's awesome! Uh, I have you all beat. What's my prize? I'm really old. Never mind. <laughs> I'm really old. Oh, look, no star, only a check mark because it's not perfect. Okay, um, iron cuirass and iron armor. Heck yeah, I'm gonna make all these! I do love all the P5R dynamic themes. Oh, oh the dynamic themes are great. I love them. Got I haven't gotten that bathhouse trophy yet. I'm missing that one and a couple mental trophies. I haven't gotten like all of the side quests. Well <gasps> Damn it! Oh, I didn't think I'd hit that hard. Frack! Shoot. Um, yeah, I didn't get like the hit the home runs. Um, uh, get the Jack Frost from the arcade game. Like, I didn't get all those. Damn it, this is so not perfect. Uh, you pass off as 25 to me? Oh, thank you. If you see me in real life, though, you'll see I have many more... Perfection, what? I don't know what their standards of grading are. Excuse me. But yeah, if you see me in real life and see just how, like, old and wrinkly and spotty I am, you'd be like, oh yeah, you're, you're definitely over 30. <laughs> I got the baseball one by accident just because I love baseball. <laughs> mm, yeah, normal bash for you. Normal bash for you. And then double bash for you. And then double bash for you. And then normal bash. Ooh! Normal bash? Okay, and then lightning bash. And we're done. If you see me in real life, you'll see that I have many perfect. Ah, <laughs> oh, Kirby, thank you for the kind words. My brother keeps adding years when people ask, I'm not 40 yet, little Brad. <laughs> Jose was an adorable fight. It was, but he was kind of tough too. I was. I think I had a little bit of trouble because I was underestimating him. Iron helmet, why not? Oh, I can't make another Iron Curious because I don't have another Celestial Skine. Whoopsies, but I'm gonna make Iron Helmet. I haven't fought Jose yet. Free. <laughs> Fight him! Double Edge Bash. Double Edge Bash. Okay, and now Normal Bash. Lightning bash. Lightning bash. Damn it! Oh well, whatever. I cheated to beat the Reaper. I saved, set it to safe mode, beat the Reaper, then just reloaded the save file. <gasps> that is... That is good! Thanks for the tip. I think... I don't think I beat the Reaper in my file. So that'll be good to know. I had a theory that Jose met the Reaper so many times in Mementos, but he just asked so many questions that the Reaper just runs away from him now. <laughs> Probably he's just like, oh damn, it's the kid. <laughs> um, I'll just make one for now because I'm not really using Silvando. When the time comes, I'll make another one for him. Broader sword. Yeah, I don't have a pitch pearl. Gold or gold chain. Gold platter. I'll make a gold platter. Jose is a freak, but he's a harmless freak. Jose is a cute little baby. I don't know what he sounds like in English, but in Japanese, he's like, Nah, he John. Okay. Can I do a lightning? Will that be fine? Ooh, ooh. Let's not risk it. Finish. This is gonna be a plus two. If you don't have enough items to craft them, you can automatically buy the material if it's available. Ooh! 
Yeah, I only got a plus two. Damn it. Reaper's easy. Is that bad to say? No, it's not bad. It's just I never I don't think I ever tried to like um like legit fight him before. Mm. 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 Horse races in Galapagos. Eh. I don't know how to buy them yet. Uh, gold. I can make a gold bracer. Oh, should I get to Eric? Yeah, why not? More defense never hurt. Hey, lo <coughs> hey, Lord, how you doing? Thanks for joining. I hope you've been well. You should be done with school now, right? I live. Yes, it's so good to see you again. Lightning Bash. Nice. And then Lightning Bash. Ah! Okay, we're gonna finish. In English, he sounds like a typical, like, 10 year old. Uh huh. If you let him hit you, he'd only attack once per round. Oh. For the record, I still hate Akaji. He actually grew on me. I just hate that if Joker dies, it's game over. Yeah, that's always annoying. It's like, hey, if main character dies, then it sucks for you. Mm, okay, I don't think I can make anything else. That's it. I'm done. Uh, now let's rest. Like, trying making it... What? Try making it even if you have zero, the game will purchase it for you? Oh, okay. Um... Oops, not weapons. Um... Armor. Uh, clothes? Not clothes, armor. Um... Oh! Whoa! I can! That's how you do it. Thank you, Ultimate. I finished school, barely survived, but I'm glad to be back. Yay! Enjoy your break, enjoy your vacation. Akachi is kind of cool sometimes in the Maruki art, but I still can't stand him. I mean, yeah, it's like, wow, you were kind of a douchebag, man, but... it's mu It was much more refreshing to see his actual personality. Instead of like the, no, oh, no. Instead of his like, oh, I'm a good detective prince boy. Like, shut up, man. You're annoying. Ooh, this is not good. Okay, I think that's it. Um, he's my favorite, but I respect everyone's choices. I'm also convinced it's impossible to beat Lavenza. Some materials, though, like the really rare ones, you have to either buy from a shop or get from a monster, but the game will tell you either way. Uh huh. I was able to beat the twins, but I can't beat Lavenza. Did I try to fight Lavenza? I don't think I did. Uh, wait. Then maybe can I forge the fur poncho? <gasps> I can! Oh, heck yes, and then I could give this to both the girls. Hells yes. They really need this. I leave for five minutes and you are hitting a rainbow jelly. <laughs> rainbow jelly smacks. I'd be in there three times. It's not that she's impossible. You just need to strategize well. Mm. Uh, flourish. Double edge bash. Double edge bash. Double edge bash. Okay, and now my regular bash. Wow, this fur is... What? Really annoying. There we go. Finish! It's impossible. Impossible, I tell you! Success! The thing with Lavenza is that she's very strict. 
I don't think any fight will be as hard as the Demi Fiend fight in Digital Devil Saga 2, though. I think that will always be, like, the hardest insane fight. That thing with- oh, wait, wait. Super poofy toast. Super poofy! Strategize well sounds impossible. Yep, especially for me! <laughs> strategy? What strategy? Perfect! Okay... Lightning Bash? I think that's the closest I'll get finish. Uh, you haven't beaten Hollow Knight. Yeah, I dropped it. I totally gave up. It's not for me. Metroidvanias are not for me. Uh, I feel like Lavenza fight makes the Elizabeth fight in P3 look like a cakewalk. Um, I think there was something else that was useful for someone. That I was like, I should make this. Uh, wristwear? No. Rings? No. Was it armor? Uh, scale shield? No. So got the gold platter, feather cap. Fur hood? Really? The guys need the fur hoods? That is a huge- wait. No. Yeah, fur hood is even better than- WHAT?! But I only have one for hood. Mm. For poncho. You know what? Okay. You know what? I'm going to equip everyone with the strongest things now. Then I'll see what um what is actually best for everyone. No, I don't want you with the rose whip. Uh Silvando, I want you with the rose whip. There you go. Then you could do that. Do that. Okay. Now I will do Forge. Uh, you gotta utilize technical damage with her, but uh, it's the fact that you need to land a critical hit on her in phase 3 on every round or she'll instantly end the game if you don't- That's stupid and annoying. That you have to land a critical? Uh, speaking of P3, I wasn't mad, but I was bummed I could ask you to raid my friend who was playing P3 last night. Oh, sure! Oh, wait, was that last night or tonight? Because I could totally go raid them. I love Persona 3. It's one of my favorite games ever. Gold platter, feather cap. Okay, fur hood. Fur hood for, um... For Eric. Fur poncho for the girls. Wow, the guys took the fur ponchos? Good job, guys. Okay. Wait, why did I make the Iron Curse if you're just gonna take the Fur Poncho, Eric? Wow. Okay. I'll make one for Eric right now. I was just stopping by quickly today. I gotta wake up at 7 and cook all day, so good night. I'll see you next week. Alright, have a good night, Lord. Thanks for joining. Have a good Christmas! That was last night. Yeah, sorry. I was bouncing back and forth between you two, and by the time I came back to you, you were off. Oh, yeah, I ended early because I was not feeling that well. So, um, yeah. Aw, oh, man, but I would have loved to raid your P3 play and friend. I love Persona 3. Like, December gets super boring, but I feel like the story was really interesting. And, like, the characters' growth felt so natural. Like, I feel like in Persona 4 and 5, like, the team feels more like friends, but it also feels too much like, ha 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 ha! fun and games and all that, and I'm like, uh, it kind of takes like the... Oh shoot, I'm out of focus? <gasps> oh no! Well then I'm done. Ah, oh, shoot. Well yeah, it takes like, kind of the grave nature of their situation, like, just dials it down a little. Mm. Do, 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 do. Forge armor. Uh, fur poncho, please. Oops. 
Kotomano best character just saying, Heck yeah, Koro is awesome. He didn't need no second awakening for his persona. It was already like maxed out and complete. That's how awesome he is. Koro's a good boy. I think that's it. This is gonna be a plus one. It's gonna suck. <laughs> I'm sure you miss all of the text conversations in P5R. Nope, I don't. <laughs> oh, yep, it's only a plus one. Damn it. Forge armor, forge clothes for Poncho. Yes. D -d -d -d. I love P3 so much, no shame. I almost cry at. The ending. Yeah, it's really good. I love it. Akihiko is my favorite character ever. He's the best boy. I love him so much. I don't know if I mentioned it on like any other stream before, but the reason why I love him so much is when Persona 3 first came out, you could not control your party members at all. Damn it, I screwed up again. Yeah, you couldn't control them at all. It was just all AI. And some of the AI were known for being super dumb, like Mitsuru, who would only use like Marin Karen instead of healing you. And that was really annoying. But Akihiko, oh my goodness, he was like, the smartest boy who would always, um... Who would always, um, hit the enemies with their weakness. And whenever you needed it, he would, um, debuff the enemies. He would heal you if you needed it. Akihiko was the smartest AI, and I loved him so much. And I still love him because he is truly the best boy. I think I need to give you a gold bracer in that race here. Yep. That means I could give you earrings! Yay! Did I not auto equip you? Oh, I did. Wait. Oh, yeah, I made a. Wait, no, I made a fur hood for you, did I not? No, I didn't. Okay. Um, let me fun size forge one more time just to make sure they all have the best equipment they possibly could have. Uh, you can appraise to know what the result will be. Yeah, but then I had no more focus to do lightning bash, and if I just did regular bash, it would have gone way over, so it's just not worth it. That's the only thing I really don't like about P3, that you can't control your party members. I thought you just had a thing for boxers. <laughs> Um, what I wouldn't get for a re release of P3 FES on PS5, I'd probably pay triple price. I'm s I'm telling you, if they remade P3 FES or Persona 3 Portable using Persona 5 graphics, man, like, I would buy that instantly, first day, and it would be so awesome. And it would be so beautiful. But who knows if they'll do it. Okay, um... I can buy silver ore! Oh my gosh! Okay, um... Well then, heck yeah, I'm gonna make the silver rapier! Yes! Yeah, that's what they- that's what, uh, Atlas needs to do. They need to, um... Remake P3 with P5 graphics. And what Square Enix has to do is remake Chrono Trigger with um dragon quest 11 graphics boom done instant money uh double a nice and let's risk it okay whatever that's fine Uh, something about Serena using spears is just off character, but her, I guess it fits. I think it's awesome that she uses spears. Like, when I first got her, I had her using wands and, um, wands and shields because I really needed to heal a lot. But once I started level grinding, 
I didn't really need to um, heal all that much with her, so I was like, okay, let's go more offensive with you. Uh, auto equip. Heck yeah! Auto equip? Okay. Uh, I want to stick you with the cruiser rank, though, for. Um, for multiple enemy hitted. Okay, now let's see. I want to save here. Yes. Take my money. For real, take my money. I said this to another friend about that. A P5 style of a mastermind of P3. I'd probably give my nutsack for that. Oh, they really need to. But with the success that- Stop it! Stop jumping out. With the success that um, P4G had on Steam, maybe they'll just be like, oh, let's just bring it over to Steam instead of like upgrading the graphics. And I'm like, no, you need to update the graphics. Like, bring Persona 3 Portable to the world, please. Oh, I'm guessing you're the boss. Hi. Chrono Trigger, Let's heck go. yeah it is. Now imagine Chrono Trigger like this. 3D style, you see all the environments, you see all the 3D things, you see all the text, like how you do, do the pet powers, just... Just imagine! It would be amazing! Uh, what are our pet powers? Scorched Earth. Nah. But I will do... Uh, hmm. Look out below! Oh wait, why did I use Bang? They're the same type of enemy. Wait, Veronica had Pep? What? Uh, wait, what's Tingle, Zing, Buff Accelerate, and Nestemize, Dazzle Fizzle. Do they use magic? Just in case. Let's use this. I don't know if you know Legend of Dragoon. I don't want a remake for it, but a remaster, but because I love the battle system and I don't want them to change that. Um, I've heard of Legend of Dragoon. I've never played it before, though. Boulderbringer. Boulderbringer! Here, here. Plus, hearing mass destruction again is never a bad thing. Oh, mass destruction so good. Frizzle, single large enemy, group of enemies, blazing wall of fire! Fire! Legend of Dragoon is been, oh. Uh, Dazzle. Oh, let's just attack. Everyone's in good health. Yeah, go. Yeah. Ow! Ooh, Serena parried. Nice. It was my first ever RPG. Ooh. My first ever RPG was Chrono Trigger. Yeah, because before that, I just played Super Mario and Donkey Kong. My first RPG was Pokemon Red. Oh! Just look what did I play first? Chrono Trigger or Pokemon? Water. It's so clear. This will be perfect for making birdsong next. And then after that, shortly after that, I played Super Mario RPG and Final Fantasy VI. Serena scoops up some spring water and mixes it with a few secret ingredients to make a file of birdsong nectar. There we are, all done. Now, let's head Pokemon back to Pokemon was 98 and US and Chrono Trigger was 96. Okay, then I played Chrono Trigger first. Yeah, I remember because I was in fourth grade. Whoa, why are you gold? Oh, because I can interact with you. Uh, yeah, let's go back this way. See what shinies are on this side. Treasure chest! Hey, X, how you doing? Thanks for joining! I play many FF games, but FF6 was not one of them. Oh man, Final Fantasy VI is awesome. I think Final Fantasy VI has the best bad guy um, 
in a video game. Well, in a Final Fantasy video game. He's better, the bad guy in Final Fantasy VI is way better than Sephiroth. I'ma just say it. Kefka is awesome. I found a green eye! What I miss? Um, nothing much. I... Went to... What's the name of the town? Wait, why am I walking through all this when I could just... Um... Uh, when I could just zoom back. Oh wait, I'm doing this to see if there's, um... <laughs> Uh, shinies. I went to the port town, and now I'm bringing water back for this kid. Uh, yeah, let's just zoom. Uh, map menu, zoom. Gondolia. Final Fantasy VI is great. It is. I tried to play it so many times, but just could not. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I only know Kefka from Dissidia games. Ah, Dissidia was fun too. Oh, but Kefka was amazing. Because from the beginning, you knew he was a bad guy. He didn't try to hide it. He was just like, hello, I'm here to destroy everything. The world sucks. And I was like, oh man, Kefka, you crazy. You so good. Hydrate and posture check. Oops. That dress is not practical for dungeon crawling. What dress? Oh, Serena's dress? But she makes it work! Confirm Jelly likes her bad boys. <laughs> I do, but Kefka is insane. He's not just like Gosh, a bad look. boy. He is the insane. Really got going while we were away. Oh, this is just too, too exciting. I can't wait to see the first contestant take the stage. <laughs> Bad. Listen, boys, I want front row seats for this, so let's get organized. You two go and muscle your way to the front of the crowd and save us In a space. In FF9, Kujo was my favorite character, so I was rooting for him the entire time. <laughs> Meanwhile, These me and the girls are will go put a song back into little Placido's throat. I can't wait to see his happy little face. Ciao for now. Uh, that didn't sound creepy. <laughs> uh, so we get Sulex. with the grunt work again, huh? Sulex. Uh, whatever. Why does that sound familiar? Let's just head over to the contest and see what's what. Okay, no, I'm not talking to any more pink exclamation points. You're just gonna tell me to go check out the thing. Wait, I should save first, just in case I mess up, like I did with the horse racing. Give me the church. That's not the church. This is the church. Good night, everyone. Enjoy your weekend. Night toast. Okay, smooth. Thanks for joining. Have a good night and have a good Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yeah, sure, save over this. Okay, um... Okay, just a little bit more time before it hits two hours, so... Yeah, let's check out the Man Festival! I mean, Mr. Universe Festival... Mr. Universe Contest, there we go. Oh, damn it! You for real? Ugh! I have to go this way. I came the wrong way. Am I gonna have to beat guys up? I can beat guys up. Everyone should be shirtless while they're beating each other up. <gasps> oh no! It's his- what's his face? <laughs> Santo Cielo, what an handsome pair. I think I have never Best seen such a luscious hair. Best P3, hairs. 4, 5, Most 3, because I got to go out on a date with Akihiko. Done. <laughs> Surely you are entering la competizione. See? 5, I felt kind of cheated out because I was like, wait, apart. that's it? That sucks. 4 was actually kind of cute too, but... Listen, Persona friends, 3 in Persona 3 LBI, Portable. We don't when you are a female to... and you can date Akihiko, the best. 
Chihiro was my favorite in Persona 3. Really? Hey, does that I love Akihiko on the boy side. And on the girls, I actually love Ryo. Sexy book nerd. Mm. I had thought to search the town for you while the citizenry were uh -oh. occupied with this idiotic spectacle. Uh -oh. But no. Instead, you choose to saunter up and greet me in broad daylight. Brazen fools. I will chop your hair off. Damn it, it is. It's him. People of Gondolia, listen. And listen well. Hmm? I, Jasper, Knight of Heliodor, Favorite and trusted Final retainer Fantasy male of characters? His Majesty, Vincent King Valentine. Carnelian. Boom, number one. <laughs> Come before you to tell you that the very Darkspawn himself is among us. The bedeviled child who brought about the destruction of Dundrasil. Is Dundrasil totally destroyed? This is not good. Let's get out of here. But yeah, my favorite Final Fantasy male characters are Vincent Valentine and Eight from Type Zero. Ace from Type Zero, Squall, <laughs> Leonhardt, Irvine, uh, Titus. Uh, Come quietly, accursed one. Setzer. And I may not be inclined to make you suffer. Edge from Final Fantasy IV. Yeah. Those are my favorite guys. Oh man. Squall? We've done uh -huh. it now. Squall Leonhart from Final Fantasy VIII. Can't wait to see him in part two of Final Fantasy VII Remake. At least I'm hoping he's there. He better be there. I haven't gotten the seven remake yet because I'm waiting for the entire game to come out. Not just the oh, here's episode one. Here's episode two. No, I wanna play the whole game in one sitting when it comes out. Don't give me episode nonsense. Squall's my favorite. Ooh, nice. Seven Remake is really good. Yeah, that's what I've heard. And it looks beautiful too, but you know. I want to play the whole game in one sitting. <laughs> one sitting. I wish I waited. I was weak and got seven remake day one. I mean, if Vincent Valentine was there, I would have gotten it day one too. But he is not. <laughs> not bad. Good thing I got Eric more equips. I mean, more defense. He's taking a beating. You know what? You you hurt. Stop it. The dance was great. I wish they would have remade FF8 mm -hmm. like that. Oh yes, they should. They they should just remake all the Final Fantasies like seven style but Damn you know it's just gonna take them forever coming. they will never manage to get it done your pathetic resistance will get you nowhere yield and spare us the yield i don't think so honey uh, mm. you leave my friends alone or i'm going to have to teach you a lesson yeah Honey. <laughs> Honey. Who are these imbeciles? And how did they get past the guards? Uh, they beat them up, that's how. <gasps> Your moves are weak. Imbeciles, you say? We'll soon see who's the stupid one. Haha, <laughs> 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 ha, take that. You can't fight against magic. <laughs> so you have friends, Darkspawn. Not for long. Uh, I just want to see Squall's pretty face in HD remake. Yes, Squall's pretty face, Irvine's pretty face, Keistus's beautiful face. Just, I want to see all their pretty faces. Yeah, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, part of the reason why I got the city at NT was to see everyone in their beautiful form. This way, quickly. Huh? 
Where'd he go? But are we gonna have to draw magic again? Oh gosh, I hope not. The remaster they did is so odd because they made his design the same from the city, so he looks younger than when he looked in game. I'll never accept Leon from Kingdom Hearts series as. <gasps> Eric! Eric! <sighs> what are you doing? I bought you some time. Use no! it. No! Get out of here! No! no come with me! <sighs> My friends! Looks like we're safe for What now. if Eric goes we back to, to the dungeon? Again, you know? Is that why we go back to Heliodor? But like so okay, we met up with Silvando we, and Veronica at we least. Didn't all make it out. Poor Eric, he Oh, I can't <gasps> Eric, what no! do to him. Oh, don't worry, sweetie. Eric's tougher than he looks. I think. We can't that leave Jasper without was him. Talking some nonsense though, huh? I mean, why call the one who's trying to beat the Dark One, the Dark Spawn? Honey, that's just confusing. He isn't really the Dark Spawn. That's just what the King of Heliodor thinks. Uh. It's all some terrible misunderstanding. I'm ever so sorry, Silvando. We should have explained all this to you earlier, but, well, so much has been I was going happy on. they added Renoa and NT, and I'm still hoping to see a scene of the Muria. Oh my gosh, me too. Oh, please, there's no need to apologize, darling. I was so the happy they added Renoa because she's like actually really like strong. Go around with someone like that. Like, oh, I don't so think a lot of people no. realize, but like, if you take everyone's base stats without any GFs equipped, after Renoa gets her sorceress powers, and now, you level everyone up to 100, night, she has the highest action, strength huh? stat. Even higher than Squall. Let's sneak up to that and like, in the of course, her magic stat is amazing because Eric. she's a sorceress. Be quiet as mice now, and use the buildings. She's always in the party. The Me too. Because soldiers. I love Angelo in also. Fact, let's. Oops. What am I doing? Go to the bridge in the center of Gondola and try to see if Eric's all right. Okay. Oops. Fighting. Because I didn't want to separate them too. Ooh. No, but Renoa's magic was like always the strongest. Uh... And her limit breaks were like super good too. Oh, so he only attacks one group of enemies. Okay. I thought the whip allowed him to attack everyone, but it does not. <laughs> Oh, maybe I should have attacked the guard B, but whatever. Whatever. Die. In Opera Omnia, there's a scene where they reunite and it's so cute. Yeah, I used to play Opera Omnia. And I was like, oh, this is cute. Okay, so if I want to go around to the center bridge, does, do I have to go around the other side? I think I do. Okay. And then after a while, I stopped playing Opera Omnia. You don't see me. Damn it, you see me. Whippy toast. What do we do now? If stealth was the name of the game, I am not playing it well. <laughs> oh, maybe I should have just physical attacked with him because he's actually stronger physically. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to attack them all at the same time. Ow! Excellent. 
Nice. Ha, that didn't hurt at all. You're great at Metal Gear then. <laughs> you want to know how I played Metal Gear? My brother beat the game first. He got the bandana um, for infinite ammo. And um, what was the other thing for invisibility? I equipped both of those and then I played it. That's how I beat Metal Gear. <laughs> uh, Squall was all worried for her. And if other character noticed how he became more chatty when she was around. Yeah, that's so cute. Like, he needs her. He loves her. Stealth camo, yeah. Stealth camo and the bandana. Without those, I never would have beaten Metal Gear. <laughs> but I love Metal Gear Solid. Wow. I lost the power of pep. The only FF couples that married and had a child and sequel were Cecil and Rosa, I think, are they? Um. Yeah! Excellent. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, it's only Cecil and Rosa in four. Because, in, like, in other Final Fantasy games, it's implied that they got together. You don't outright see it, though. Whoops, I need to be up. Hi! Bye! Can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. MGS 1 and 2 are so good. They are. I love Silvando. I hey, Artsy, how you doing? Thanks for joining. In the shadows, 15 like was just garbage. Are, it was dumpster smoke. fire. Doesn't Lulu Show get... <gasps> oh, wait, but they're not a... Lulu and Waka are not a main, main, main character couple. Like, Titus and Yuna would be the main ca couple in Final Fantasy X. But yeah, Lulu does have a child in X2. Or you can stay hidden. We don't talk about 15. And see what happens Titus and Yuna broke friend. up. Don't say that. That never happens. We're pretending Something that Final Fantasy X Part 3 is not dark. happening. We better get to Eric before things turn nasty. Nasty. Ah, there's a gondola stop off to the northwest near the contest stage. We could sneak up close to them from there. Let's hop on a gondola and glide on over. Touchy Must subject, yes, because waiting. Titus and Yuna have to stay together. They're so adorable together. How dare they try to make, like, a stupid love triangle story situation? No. Yuna... Ta Titus risked his life... Not... Did he really... Was it... Should we really call it risking his life? Anyways. Whoops. That's blocked off. He did everything he could to, like, help Yuna out with the... With yet. Sin. And... Let's see. And Yuna did everything she could to try to bring Titus back. And you're saying that people that went through like crazy life and death, like world ending situations together are just gonna like be like, oh, there's another girl in the mix. Oh, is she gonna cause trouble? And are they gonna break up over that? That's stupid. I hate that. In the city, it was sad when he couldn't remember her. I know, and I was like, how can you not? She's your, she's your one true love. Let's get some MP back. Oh my gosh, but did you play World of Final Fantasy? Cause that was so Goodness. cute. When he's like, oh, hey, Yuna, I'll protect you. I'll help you out. And then when they fought, after they fought Bismarck, she was like, Titus, where are you? And she whistled for him. It was so cute. So freaking cute. I saved those videos of those um, cutscenes on my PS4. Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh, how am I supposed to get to that freaking gondola? <sighs> That's blocked. 
blocked off. The middle's blocked off. I couldn't get down that alley. So the only way is to come down here. But what? What? How am I supposed to get in? I can't get into the middle bridge because it's blocked off and it's blocked off there. What, do I have to write th No, I can't even write that on the but I can't go up there. What? That's locked. Ugh. Ugh. Machito, uh, he ended his own existence for her. Yeah. It's not really a triangle because Yuna was overreacting in that story. Uh, but still. It was great seeing Tina's Yeah, it was. Go through the inn across the tops and jump off the bridge. Oh. Oh, I see it now. Okay, thanks. Damn it. They caught up. Did you jump off the bridge already? I didn't jump off Let's the bridge, but I it. walked off the bridge. Don't say I didn't but I'll go to the end now. Ouch. Uh, I could probably bang them all. Oh, he's still alive! Excuse you. Uh, did you take a look at X 2.5? 2.5? You're not talking about Kingdom Hearts 2.5, right? Whoops. Uh, in. Is there a red book? Somewhere under the rainbow. Once upon a time on a lovely summer's day, a rainbow appeared in the sky. The weather was so warm and relaxing that it made the rainbow sleepy, and he let a great big yawn as he yawned a single tough corner of his eye, and the sparkling sunlight split into seven different colored lights, under which little baby lamplings were born. The leafy lampling was a bright green cup of leaf. The luminous lampling was a bright blue flame. The lurid lampling was a shining yellow body. But the red light was jealous of his beautiful brother, so he gobbled the orange and violet light to a hole and punished him for his terrible sin. He was turned into the lava lampling. Horns grew from his head, and he was banished to hell, where he dwells to this day. Oh, that's sad. Better sleep in the end to get your MP. Uh, okay. Oh, I guess I'll sleep. Can I sleep right now? I could probably bang them all. Context is everything. <laughs> Prequel to the audio drama. Um. Oh, hi. I think I did. Nice speed reading, Speedy Toast. Ha, <laughs> thank you. Read my word docs for me. Ha, 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 ha. Noah's art. Almost anyone who spent time among the left reputable little people of Erdre is bound to have heard of Noah, a man who trades in gossip and information of all kinds, from the name of the local barber's mistress to the deepest, darkest secrets of the royal family. He knows every tidbit and tattle, every scrap of scandal on every street corner in the land. But how does this mysterious figure come into possession of all these secret sensitive secrets? Maybe many an intrepid investigator has tried to uncover his sources, but each and every one of them has failed. But one thing is certain, his sense for a scoop is his stuff of legends. Some say that on the day he was born, he pointed to the eastern sky that hours later a storm rolled just in from that direction. Hey, I met Noah. The book where Titus got his head blown off by a bomb he thought was a blitz ball. What? Oh, she's helping me. Yeah. I'll rest for 40 gold. Heck yeah. Da -da. Then Yuna beckoned him back to life and doesn't remember that he died in that moment. What? <laughs> you are pulling my leg now. I have PSVR and tried the Kingdom Hearts experience. I'm not gonna lie, I got close to Axel's face. Ha! Axel got it memorized. That's why she broke up with him in the audio drama. What? Oh, wait. Ladder. Ladder. Pots. Okay. Now, there should be something I could walk across. Heck yeah. Uh, because she's afraid of him disappearing because he might remember his own death. What? That's crazy. Thousand Words was a great song for me. Yeah. 10-2? I feel like... 
it started off so great with all the different missions and stuff. And like, hey, you gotta traverse through all these new dungeons and um, find all these treasure spheres. It started off so interesting, and then chapter 4 happened, and I was like, what the hell is going on? Everything is so boring now. Wait, but now how do I get off? Because I have to... What? How do I jump? Huh? But if I jump off this way, then I'll just be back at the bridge. What? Speed reading, haha, <laughs> thanks for the clip. A lot happened in that book. I didn't like it much, but the songs I did, mm. That's why Tita seemed weak in the audio drama, like he was literally broken. Mmm. Drop down? You just gotta jump down and go to the bridge. Then why did I- Why did I leave the bridge in the first place then? That's all I had to do? That's all I had to do? Why did they... Why did they... After that cutscene, why did they take me off the bridge? What if that's all I had to do? Oh my gosh! Are you freaking serious? Oh my... Wow. Wowie zowie. Whoops. Chulami noted how his handshake felt weak when she met him in the beginning. Oh. Um, where am I going? Am I just docking now? Yeah, get off. Ooh, barrels. That's why I was wondering if you already jumped. Oh, I rested at the end, yeah. Actually, let me make sure Silvando has the most best awesome things. Okay. Also feel like Yuna is the one who brought Sin back because she wanted us to feel like old times. What? No way. I don't think even she has the power to call him back, though. Still, you fail to find Man, I really have to go to the bathroom. I wanted to, like, wait to find a good place to save and stop. But I feel like I have to do a battle, and I, I don't think I could wait that long. So I'll be right back. Sorry, guys. I gotta pee. <laughs> Classic FF love songs, Eyes on Me, Melody's Life, Taking on that. Oh yeah, they were great. Insert intermission music here. 
It's now or never, my loves. Time to enter from stage right and save the day. I love Yuna's hair better in 10 than in 10 too. Oh yeah, me too. I loved her look better in 10. So finally you scurry into the Now we have songs like Stand By Me. I mean, Stand By Me is not a bad song, but like, did they need to use it for 15? Probably not. I welcome the chance to tear you apart with my own hands, Darkspawn. But yeah, it would be better if they came up with their own original songs again. I have you now, Darkspawn. Shut up, man. This is ridiculous. Darkspawn, Darkspawn. Calm down, man. Um, Filthy rats. I think I could just <laughs> bash at you. Let's see. Spells, 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 spells. Sap. <laughs> Sorry. I'd rather have an original song, same. In 13, it was my hands. Was it? Uh, reheal. Uh, tingle. cock a doodle -doo, Whoosh. Slightly raises the attack of a single party member. Raises the agility of all party members. Yeah, why not? Let's get fast. Ha, ha. Dark Spawn. Thirteen had an English song and a Japanese song. Mm. I can't remember what Thirteen's was. I remember Twelve was "Kiss Me Goodbye" by Angela Aki. Uh, let's see. Little whoosh buff. Accelerate. Okay, I think I need to buff Veronica just in case because she has the least helps. amount of HP. Ooh. New world, new world. Yeah. Uh, there was my hands and Kimi no Kara. Kimi ga yuru kara. Mm. Let's see. Frizzle! Frizzle! <laughs> Uh, and let's really power you up. Ha! Ha! Who is it? Serena? Okay. Attack! <laughs> Ow! Okay. Uh, let's see. Hypno Whip, Sobering, Snap, Star Strike. Uh. Hot leg, ooh. Ooh, nice, three hits. Uh, frizzle again. Oops, I forgot to see what my abilities were. Ow! <laughs> Flame slash. Let's heat things up! Kimi Yurukara was completely different from my hands and made a lot of sense. My hands felt random, but still a good song regardless. I played 13 and 13 too, and I know it gets a lot of hate, but I really enjoyed them. It was only until Lightning Returns that I was done. I played 10 minutes of that game, could not continue. The reason why I didn't like um, 13 too was because. It, wow, he missed? That sucks. It just felt like... Oh. Wow, he's deflecting everything. <laughs> ah, oh, I forgot to heal her. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't... It's like 13-2 didn't... explain the story of 13 more. <laughs> if anything, it was like, hey, let's make things more, like convoluted and confusing Again, and not really explain the lore of the world it's just like whoa hey here's some new situations and characters and woo knees, and i did not you like it uh, how could this happen <laughs> and yeah lightning returns i started playing it and i was like what the hell is this garbage nonsense <gasps> but i do want to eric oh, eric I do want right. to like eventually play Here, through all of Lightning Returns just because I want to see like how the story unfolds, but uh, very low on my priority list. 
Then, like, the whole time travel nonsense had a completely retconned the beautiful ending that wasn't dirty. Right? Right? That also made no sense. And I'm like, what? What did time travel become a thing? Like, how is this a thing? It just, it just brought about more questions than it answered anything. I didn't think it was possible to make 13 story worse. Oh, but they managed to do it. <laughs> Hate that after everything she went through with Noel, she just dies. It had, yeah, it's, it's it matters stupid. not. You have had your fun. Really now accept off, your fate But I was mad that they made Hope up. a kid again. Yeah, that's uh, just third. <laughs> if anything, I'll play it and complete it to get platinum trophy. <laughs> Other than that, All right, this is gonna I, seem crazy, uh, but just trust me, okay? Oh. Geronimo! Geronimo! <laughs> I wanted lightning to meet adult hope. Same! <laughs> True to form, the rats leap from the sinking ship. So much for your faithful friends, Darkspawn. <laughs> Shut your face. Now, this ridiculous farce has gone on long enough. All that remains I wanted that shift to happen. To Same! When I saw Hope as an adult Surrender in 13-2, uh, I was like, yes! Or entrust your now it won't be weird or creepy if they get together. Oh. Sir Jasper, look! Hmm? Uh. Holy mother! Is that our ship? We get an actual legit ship? Yoo-hoo! How's that for a dramatic entrance, huh? Introducing salty the stallion. Salty Stallion! The finest ship to ever sashay across the seas! Like you did not how see... Ha did you not see how hot adult Hope is and you just gonna do him dirty like that? Hope had one of the best character growth in the game. He did. A lot of people I know hated Hope because they thought he was a whiny brat and I was like, his mom died in front of his eyes. He is not allowed to go home and he's just a kid. He's like, he's thrown into this helpless situation where no one else can help him because his mom died. And he learned how to like grow up and, and like learn all this responsibility. like. Hope has the best character growth. All aboard! Ugh. Plus, the worlds were totally reversed, but it was still weird in 13 3. Mm. <laughs> this is our rowboat! Oh my gosh! Because Hope was a kid again with an adult personality. Yeah, just. Mm. Salty Stallion, that sounds. <laughs> he was literally a kid thrown into the mist of hell. I'd be acting like him too. Exactly! I totally understood his situation. I was like, Hope is such a good character! I love a twist! And his, his, what's it called? I, oh, what's the summons called in 13? I totally forgot. But his summon is Alexander. I freaking love Alexander. What are your orders, sir? They're getting away. <laughs> they will not get far. Back off, man. I don't like you. I Dolan, yeah, there we go. Somebody say my name, haha. <laughs> Alexander's one of my favorite summons in Final Fantasy ever. Ooh, made it. I really enjoyed 13 due to me being new teeth. to the series and having no we expectations whatsoever. Self. Yeah, and then when you play older Final Fantasies and you're like, wow, 13's garbage. <laughs> well, not like garbage, but... Uh... Oh, don't be silly, when he summoned darling. Alexander for the first that time, I know. you need to thank. It's his steady hand on the helm that steered us out of the jaws of danger. <laughs> oh, stop it, Silv. I'm just doing my job. No need to. Yeah, we got a dominatrix for a captain. Go, oh, blimey, what the X that? What the X that? I started with 10 and 10 too, then went to 13. Oof. Now play 6 and 4 and 9 and 8 and 7. Oh my goodness! It's but if you play four, disgusting. play the DS version. So much better. <laughs> I told you you would not get far. Enjoy <laughs> your journey. Later, when he summoned him again floor. during that epic cutscene with the bikes, and he just smiles and he's like, I know! And he 
she's just like, haha, hey there, boom. It was so now, awesome. Now, my dear Tentacula. I don't got time while I play seven. Ooh, I started with watching my cousin play seven, deep. nine, ten, and twelve. Ooh, tried playing eight, hated the junction and draw. That's why you get strong magic users to draw all the magic, and then after the battle, you give all that magic to your um, other party members, and then you just go back into battle and draw again. That's why Kistis and Renoa were always in my party, because they were my best magic drawers. And then when What's I didn't need noise? to draw anymore, I switched Kistis for Irvine. Actually, the PSP version of FF4 is the best. But the DS version is so cute. And they add Those the, um, merchant ships. the... What, what the heck? Fire! The, what you call it? What's that system? Where you can learn different um, abilities from each different party member. Oh, it was so good, though. Play the DS version and the Game Boy version. I love 8. Mm -hmm. Look! They scared it off! The noise of the cannons frightened it away! <sighs> hi, hey, hi. Edge's crush on Rydia? I know! I love it so much! Hi! Is safe now. See? Bene, bene. That monster always is harassing the ships in this War area. War is so epic, story-wise. So good. <laughs> hey, it's me, Placido. Listen, I can So speak far, I've now. only played I 7, 10, 10, 2, 13, Lightning Returns, World of FF, 15, and Dissidia. Ooh. Now play boy, 6, 4, 8, 9. You who cure him. And also, he convinced me that you are no Darkspawn. That is no you who curse him in this way. Yeah, I've never met him before. I, of course I wouldn't curse him. He explained everything to me. Scusa, Amici. I have done to you a great disservice. Some days ago, I play outside the town, and I observe Sir Jasper talking to the monster. He's scary, so I make a little scream. He <gasps> Jasper me cursed and you? my voice so I cannot speak about what I see. It was horrible. Uh-oh. So I learn that the one they call the Dark Spawn saved my boy. <gasps> and Ooh, the noble knights shady, of they're Eliador, working with the monster. So does that mean the king the of Heliodor is possessed then? What does it all mean? I cannot understand. But I know that you don't got the time, age, and responsibility. And hey, an you can do it. <laughs> I believe in you. Day, see? Potentially unpopular opinion, not including the remake. I like nine more than seven. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the only the reason why I like seven is I love Tifa and Vincent, and I love the battle theme music. Other than that, I think nine is better than seven. Honestly, I think Final Fantasy seven bad guy is weak sauce i don't think he's cool Hear or me. scary or bad today you were lucky but your luck will run out and when it does actually i did two nine story was so there. great also Kudra. yeah nine story is wise, great you will live in fear of and nine day. story has so much heart and like all the characters like you Things feel for them and you, you really now. get to know their stories and it's just the like so they don't like that don't let them grind you down you hear mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 i believe mine is better than seven i haven't played but i believe that's why you should play it <laughs> Like, 6 and 4 might be harder to play, but 9, I believe, is out on the Switch, so... Mm -hmm. It's never gonna happen, but a remake of 9 would probably make me wet my pants four times over. We live to they see need to remake sunrise. all the older Final Fantasy games! Blessed, I Those tell are you. so good! Kuja and Tara's interactions in the city were so cute, not gonna lie. Cause they're all espers! Ooh, Dave, I forgot to ask! 
Have you heard any little birdies chirping about a merchant buying and something it's on top on the backlog? The I order for the switch. Yes, and you can do it. I, you can play it. I believe in you. Oh, yeah, this it happened silver. Word on the grapevine is the fellow what bought it headed over Zvardrust. Zvardrust. This really isn't just a game to you, huh? <laughs> Friends, sheepmates, amigos, Zvard's thrust and the rainbow await. Onward, forward, northeastward, destiny beckons. I really want to know what the deal is with Silvano. <laughs> <laughs> they remastered it so far, but a remake would be awesome. Yep, 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 yep. Remake Chrono Trigger first. With Dragon Quest XI graphics, with voice. We really need to spread the word and the message. Chrono Trigger remake. Dragon Quest graphics, orchestral score, voice actors, Yuri Lowenthal as Colonel, Laura Bailey as Marl. Heck yeah, Laura Bailey as Marl. The time has come to find your sea legs, landlubber. You can stop the salty salient anywhere marked with an anchor icon on your trusty map. And when you want to take the waves again, just to go and talk with Dave. For your maiden voyage, why not set northeast for course for Svardrust? Is this Svardrust? This does not seem like Svardrust. Where's my map? Oh, up there, okay. Erica Limbic as Luca, Matt Mercer as Frog. Matt Mercer as Frog! No, Matt Mercer as Magus. Patrick Seitz as Magus? Ooh, 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 possibly, probably. <laughs> ah, just, just kill him. I can hear it. Heck, yeah, you can. I would have loved to hear Kirby Morrow as um as Robo or something, but. Kirby Morrow passed away. <laughs> Kirby Morrow, no. <sighs> Whoa, there's a shining light. But I'm not gonna touch it because I'm scared. Damn it. I'm so sad, me too. Whoa! Our work isn't done yet. What are you? Brawly Brawly Minotaur? Braliminator? What the heck? These monsters are so freaking weird, I love it. Yeah, they are very interesting. Who else wants Who else wants some? Disembark here. Am I gonna get Jaden's bar dressed? Please, just let me know. Do I get her here? Uh, by the way, how long is Chrono Trigger? Depends on which ending you get. <laughs> um, but typically it's, um, I guess it can be kind of long. Brawly is a British term for umbrella. Ah, okay. Soon? Uh, but in Zvardrust? Do I get her in Zvardrust? Magic water! I thought Brawly was a pun for broccoli. Hey, this isn't DBZ. Not everyone's named after vegetables. And food. And underwear. Woo! New enemies! Where's a save point? Where's a campsite? Oh, there. Okay, I'll save there. Uh, yeah. Oh my- two and a half hours?! Oh my goodness. I have been streaming for a while. Don't run into me! Frack, I ran into you. 
work isn't done yet. Hocus Chimera. What the hell? Cyclone? Oh my goodness. Nice. Wow. Yes, oh my gosh, I can't wait. I feel better than ever. I can't wait to get Jade. But for now, I'm gonna save. Where's the church? Is it inside? Where is it? Out here. Let me in? No? Okay. Then it must be inside. Hello! I want to save. Okay, so I'm going to leave this stream here. I don't think I need to level grind for next stream. I think I'm at a pretty good level. But just in case, I'll fight some enemies outside and stuff and stuff and stuff. But that's it for me tonight. Um, next, I'll pick this up on Monday next week. It's not going to point out that Eric is a Super Saiyan Blue. Ha ha ha. I got a couple friends on if you're interested in raiding. Yeah, sure, I can raid. But yeah, I will continue playing this on Monday. So have a Merry Christmas, everyone. Have a good holiday break. Thanks for stream. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you, everyone, so much for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Stay toasty and have a good night. Merry Christmas. Have good weekends. All that, all that stuff. Enjoy time off from work and from school. Yeah, who do you want me to raid? I'm ready to raid. A uh, friend on um, playing Pokemon Yellow, one playing Fire Emblem card game. If Let's do Pokemon Yellow! Okay. Scrub in Japan. Here we go! Let's go, guys! Have a good night!